Hey everyone, I'm back. I feel like I start every video with that. I'll be playing Chris Talman in this game, aka Victory Lap on ISC. NASPA rated about uh, 18 something, 1800, 1850. Um, so I'm looking forward to the game. I played him at Nationals and kind of destroyed me, so maybe we'll get some revenge here. Not too sure what to do with this move. Um, Olive is highly volatile. A and OR is not even that good to leave. I don't know why I'm even considering that. Uh, Freena gets me there. I don't think Freon is good. I can't remember. Even if it were, I don't know if I'd do it. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, I really want to get rid of these O's. I can play Roof. Roof, however you want to say that. Kind of looks like the best thing available. Um, where do I play it is the next question. Um, I feel like maybe this is going to minimize his counters the most. Um, well, let me think about this. If he plays in front of the R, what kind of words does that give me versus in front of the F? In front of the F is not going to give me anything. Gah. It's going to set up some cool proof words, maybe. So that'll be baby proof or baby proofing. Uh, I don't know. I'll play roof. I, I think here's probably fine. Drew the K. K is always nice to see when you've got like duplicate E's and N's or, or other various one pointers like that. Because it's like, okay, I can get rid of that E and that N and play off the K so I still score enough points. So happy about that don't really have too many options available to me now except Kern Kern is gonna hold really well or KEN will go in a ton of places so yep it, it basically just a matter of wherever he lets me play I'll play there I don't think I've got any eight possibilities in this rack but I may be wrong about that wouldn't be the first time I'm, I've been wrong and I'm sure I'll be wrong about a million more times so Brazen comes down for 37. Uh, I gotta think about if that takes an S or not. Uh, I don't know. That's annoying. I hate when I don't know the hooks to a word on the board. Uh, one of the things I need to work on actually is trying not to freak out when there's a word on the board whose hooks I don't know. Um, a lot of the time I'll go a little bit too far out of my way maybe to uh, get rid of those hooks, get them, get them taken out of play. Hmm. I feel like brazen is actually a verb now that I'm thinking about it like brazened yeah yeah you know it's probably a common word you guys are all probably sitting here like Matt what what are you even thinking um, these are the things that go through my head all the time I hate playing Scrabble because I'm always so uncertain about everything I'm about 95%. Yeah, brazen. I, I just remember seeing brazen before, so. Kanes or knees or. I believe Ken's is good. I don't want to keep that AEN, but I don't want to let him overlap the K for a million either. Akeens. But that's going to let him go here with the no brainer play. I feel like no matter what I do, I'm giving Chris back a bunch of points. Um, but I feel like this is a little bit tougher for him to get points, or when he does get points, he kind of he doesn't get as many. Maybe he has to get rid of some better tiles. Um, I guess that's the leading candidate right now. Unless there's a weird word I don't know. I feel like that's just going to be the best thing I can play. So let's do it. I hope Brazen takes that S. I think it does. A A E E N N O. What a superb wreck. Yeah. 
I guess I can play zone A or throw A on down somewhere and I'll be mostly worked out of the rack. I feel like a, a big part of my strategy is just, oh, Aeon's actually going to fit really nicely here, but there's like not very much of a chance that that's going to stay available to me. A big part of my strategy is trying not to draw the racks like this, because these are the turns where you score 14, and you don't keep especially well anyway. And I don't know, these are the turns that I feel like lose you games. If you can't score 30... And you can't keep well. Um, so just try and avoid these at almost all cost. And the way to do that is to keep fewer one-pointers, play off more tiles, and just get more turnover so you can... Like, I know the turnover argument is dead. I'm not saying go for blanks. But I'm saying get turnover because you can draw H's and C's and P's and, and Y's and stuff to score a bunch of points and just guarantee that you're not going to you know, sit there with your pants pulled down not scoring for several turns. But what do I know? I'm not that good. Aeon's also going to fit here, but I'm going to keep double ends. One of my bigger weaknesses as a player is uh, that I do try and avoid duplicates a little more than I should. Azo's here, but I've got to stick with A on the original play. Uh, I feel like one of the main times I make mistakes is if I've got like double R's, and it's always the first thing on my mind to undouble them when in fact I should just be scoring some points and keeping both of the R's. It's not the worst thing in the world to have two R's, especially if you've got some other decent stuff to go with it. Like L-I-R-R, -R, yeah, that's pretty terrible, but C-E-R-R, -R, like, that's fine. So it's just a matter of what you're keeping. Anti-weed would go down with the D... Um, that might be it. I don't know, I mean, I'm not even going to look for stuff until a line maybe gets opened up anyway. I just don't really see any good candidate plays right now. Um, yeah, wow. We, we is a decent play. A-E-I-N-T is not great on this board. I mean, Shaw is a bingo line for the S I don't have, and I guess this is all right here, but not a lot in terms of bingoing. The E is not a great spot for me because I'm already holding Val heavy. So he plays pipe. That just makes this turn kind of weird. Um, I feel like I'm just going to run with Wii, the original plan here. Um, he's probably holding relatively prone right now. He's taken a while on each of his turns, and he's dumped HH and then PP for very few points, which makes me think like his leave is good enough to justify making those plays. It could just be clunky strings of consonants, but... I don't know. I'm going to play Wii. I just think it's the equity play, but nothing else is, is very good at all. I guess I could have played Wii here, but get way more points over here. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd draw another W. Sweet. Love Ws. I don't actually love Ws, but... Um, 
Yeah. Waif is maybe the equity play here, but man, that's bad. Rattan is horrible. Oh man, I hate the W right now with these two eyes. There's his bingo, so he was close, like I originally thought. I'm not going to get any good play here. I need three vowels in a row. Iwis looks like the best option right now. Oh, Wisteria would be sick, but don't quite have that. Waste is a different option. It's it's if I really want to open this board up, but I just don't think I do. I'm gonna go with Iwis. Keep things small. Keep A E N T, which is more balanced. Yeah, the board sucks for bingos right now, but I don't want to draw more vowels. Maybe I'm just biased because I've been drawing vowels all game, but no, the pool's vowel heavy too. Look at that. Look at that crap. So Iwis, it is. Still don't think I'm bingoing. Um, that's fine. I don't need to bingo. Uh, I got little dinky fishing plays. Oh, he. Oh well, now I. Oh no. Sorry, Chris. But I'm triple tripling for 185. Ouch. <laughs> I think the first two or three times I triple tripled in a game, I lost the game. I know the first time I triple tripled, I lost. I wonder what I'm going to do with this turn. It really really depends on uh, what he does, I guess. But So I'm not doing much commentary this time. I just don't think there's been a ton to think about so far. And now I triple-tripled for 185, so we still don't really have a game on our hands. I'm just trying to think of candidate plays. Grooved is not quite long enough to put the V here so I can shut down the board. That's unfortunate. Um, man, I don't know what to do, but I feel like this is a position where he's probably going to open stuff up for me, so... There's there's plays like movie or moved over here, but they're gonna open things up and with a big lead after a triple triple I don't need to do that. Um goo here is, is an option. It 
doesn't score well and I'd like to just turn on the guns here and run and get so far ahead of him that it doesn't matter if he's going to draw that blank and bingo again. Um, Anagramma natively is venality, by the way. So I saw that first and I was like, oh, cool. Oh, cool. Natively is. And then, yeah, that was that. I feel like maybe there's a, a nice word through this L, but... All right, let's think about what he just did. That doesn't give me anything at all, so I was wrong about that. Um, Rufus is still here. Rufus is not going away until I do something about it. And it's not the best bingo line, but it could easily be like 68 to 70. Um, these are, especially the E is a good line. These are all great lines. Grooved is going to knock out most stuff, but it's going to open up two more, so it's not actually that that good. Um, the Enneagram of Grooved uh, Overdog, it makes it pretty tough for him to overlap here, but it doesn't quite knock out roofs, so not, not, not what I need to do. Oh. There's Ogive over here, but that's going to set up a second line if he's for a bingo with an E in the second spot. It doesn't address these at all. Hmm. Video here fails to address all the lines. So I, I just don't think I'm going to knock all of this stuff on the left side out in one turn. He spent a long time before he played Yum. It seems like too long for him to be thinking about a bingo on that rack. If you see YUM, you just kind of give up. I don't know too much about Chris as a player, so I can't really read that much into why he's taking so long or anything like that. Um... Nevoid, I can just play over here. None of these are superb lines. Most bingos with the D are going to end in that. Nevoid doesn't take an S. These are okay, but it's going to be kind of tough for him to end something, have, have an O that late in a word. Um, yeah, it's going to open the board, but it's going to score 20 points. It's going to get most of this bad rack out of here, but with two Gs and three Os left, I'm probably just going to get, I'm not probably, but there's a chance that I get another rack kind of like this. Ugh. I can play Volg. G-I-O is kind of gross, but... Um... Jeez, I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. Nevoid is my leading thing, I guess. But surely I can do better. These are positions that, like, they don't feel that important, and, and I kind of get anxious spending a long time on them because in a lot of cases the game is already over now, or close to over, but they're still really important because you want to maximize your chances of winning. I'm going to play Nevoid. It's probably the wrong thing to do, and I'm just not seeing anything better. And he plays life care, so I guess I should have maybe blocked over there, but I've got the S to go up beneath it. Um, soul is a word. It's 36 points. Um, the S is... He's also knocked out roof, so this is the only S spot. Again, Nevoi doesn't take an S. Unless there's a word I don't know. 
in this rack, in which case you know, I don't know it. I'm just going to go ahead and play soul. If I knew another word, I would have seen it by now. Um, so that, that blank is still out, and that bothers me a little bit. The board is not super good for bingos. They're this R, this R. Words pretty much don't start with N. Uh, I, I one time said, being completely serious, nothing starts with N, and then everybody around me laughed because nothing starts with N. Um, didn't mean for that to be a joke, but it's a good one now. Um, yeah, so I guess these are like marginal to the Y from the A, maybe from the T. These R's are the thing I need to worry about most. I've got 50 points, but I'm down the tempo, so... If he does bingo again, I'm not not in the best of shape. And I'm just not seeing good candidate plays for me. Something like Corgi is just too far over the top for sure. Um, I guess there's no H's out to go here, but still 16 points RRX. If I could play Corgi getting rid of one of these R's, that'd be better, but I can't really do that without not scoring anything. Coxa is an option. Leaves this R available, like, but it's something that scores well. There's no R's left for me to draw. There's only one I. Oh, man, he bingoed again. Man, that sucks. Stop bingoing, Chris. Oh, but he's given me the Oxo spot here. Rex is there. If this were Collins, I'd be setting up Grex or playing Grex. That'd be nice. Um, I think Rex is just the no-brainer play here. So I will make it. Draw on this. I've been out bingoed four to one this game, but because mine was an 185 point triple triple, it's like eh, we're about even now. Um, yeah, CGOU is not going to be good for the end of the game, so I want to try and get rid of as much of this stuff as I can now. If I play guide here, that would be cool because I'm setting up an O underneath. Looking at the pool, it is weird. There's three vowels, A, A, U. That's it. There's a Q and a J. Um, but because of the U and the A, like the Q, if he's got the right stuff to go with it, can be big. If he doesn't, or if I draw it, it can be terrible. I probably want to hold this U. I probably want to hold maybe the I to go with it, too. Q, uh, Q U, I is better than Q, U. Well, I don't know if Q, U, I is better than Q, U, E. Um, regardless, I want to try and keep that stuff. At least the U for the rest of the game. That is a weird pool. You know, he could be sitting on B D D T T T T. He could be sitting on Q U A A D T. You know, he, his racks can be all sorts of different things. But I know he's not bingoing. That that much is is certain. Um, yeah, not sure what I should do about that his next play the inference i get from it's going to be pretty important uh because that'll tell me you know if i guess if he has the cue it probably comes down if he doesn't well no if he has the cue and he can't play it then he's going to exchange it okay or cat here actually whoever gets the cue is probably playing cat here there's four t's out so that that makes me want to ask okay do i do i want to try and block cat i've got the u i don't care if i draw the cue and i really want to stop him a play that holds query but knocks this out would be sick. Something like Corgi here. Um, but that might be way too cute for the situation. Again, we're in a close game. I'm only scoring, what, eight points? That's not, that's not something I want to do.
wonder if I have any sort of play overlap. Well, no, nothing is going to go there, so I definitely don't have an overlapping play there. All right, he did have the Q, and he got a 33-point play with it, but that leaves just one Val in the entire Unseen pool. So things are going to get weird for Chris, and I'm sure he didn't want to make that play because... Well, let's talk. Did he have both of the A's? If he had both of the A's, maybe Quai is better. If he if he didn't have a D, because Quad almost has to be better than Quay here, regardless of what he's keeping... I'm going to go ahead and assume he doesn't have any of the Ds. Um, I don't know what that really t what that make how that makes this play different, I guess, but um, the I here is going to be kind of useless cuz it overlaps here won't get much query is still available, but that's terrible now at 17 points. I probably want to worry about J spots for him to score and Jot looks like the only decent thing he can do. Jet makes TE. That's not an option. I don't think he's going to have anything here. It's going to make him play something like Jut just to get rid of the J. If he's got it. If he doesn't have it, well, meh. So I probably want to be going over here. Maybe getting rid of Jot. Or I can go back to playing Guide now. Again, that holds the O underneath. Oh... Okay, if he's got the S and he has, like, bads and guided, I lose. I set up the R, but if he plays Jot, the R is useless, but I've got this. He can't do anything about this except maybe Jut, and then I still get Guider. Gads or bads. He's going to need to have the A. He's going to need to have the S. He's going to need to have a D. I don't think he had a D. I kind of do think he had the other A, because otherwise he may, may just want to play quad and keep a vowel. Um, but yeah, I don't think he had a D. I don't know if he had the S or not. So I don't think Bads is really in the cards. Jot is very in the cards. But that gives me something here. I get 22, he gets 20. He empties the bag, gets 20. So I've got seven tiles, he's got seven tiles, and I'll be down by 17. Can I win that game? Guide gets rid of all of my vowels. I want to be keeping vowels. Vowels are the way I win this game. Maybe I can make a play like Cog, just hold as many vowels as I can. Oh, Chris lost connection. He's back. That's good. Um, keep as many vowels as I can. Because vowels are going to be how I win this game. Um, I can draw some high-scoring plays here. I, I'm almost certain I'm going to draw consonant-consonant consonant after this play. Um, or maybe I want to put a consonant here and make a play down here because he won't be able to. I could also just play Gwid. That sets up the O here. It sets up the E here. But again, if he plays Jot, that's not so big. Or, uh, I can't hit this spot. Jot also sets up Jota. Oh, I just don't want Jot to come down at all. I want to get rid of that, and I think the only thing I can really do is play something like Cog. Or goo. That holds the C. Hmm. I'll probably still draw a consonant consonant, but is C U D D I E good? If I draw one of those T's, I or sorry, draw draw one of those D's. Man. Oh jeez, I don't know what to do. Pretty sure Cuddy is good. Pretty sure he's going to freak out about having the J and dump it wherever he can, and that would let me play Cuddy here for a bunch. I don't know. I don't even know how to begin assessing this situation. I have Curia up here for some points. 
I'm going to do this and just try and keep my time for, for another turn. I'm going to play Goo. No. No. I'm going to play Go. That's way more points. Cuddy is still available. Yeah, I'll score some more points. Good call, Matt. DT is like the pull I expected to get here. Cuddy is now there for 37. If he plays off the J here, I think I'm fine. If he if he plays Jut or or something along those line, along that those lines, that line. I don't know. Um or just dumps it here. If he doesn't play the J, then I can't play Cuddy. That's pretty sad. Right, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I can make an ER. Is Curded good? Curded. That's that's something I can think about. If if it comes down to it, if I need to do that, I can. Um, I, I have no idea if that's a word or not. Curd. Like cheese curds. I have no idea. Like 50-50 on that. Um, Curia is available. I don't think I've got a play down from the eye. Really want to see that J come out right now. Jay did not come out, but he has a terrible rack now. A terrible rack now. I can't play Cuddy, I think, because Jed is there. But I can just sit here on Cuddy. I, I know Cuddy's a word. Um, so if I just keep these tiles, like I think the only thing he can do about it is play Toil or something. But maybe that's going to be enough. Like if that, That's my only scoring play. I can play Curded now. Uh, because of the way ISC works, I'll actually get to see the last tile in the bag for sure, but so will he. Hmm. I guess he'll know the last... No, he won't. I will get to see the last tile in the bag. He won't. I don't really want to exploit ISC dynamics to win a game, though. Well, I wonder if I have a... Oh my god, curated here is 36 points. I don't have to worry about this now. Okay, curated. Let's see if that's going to win me the game. If I draw the J, he can't do anything. I'll have Joe. I'll have Joe. I get rid of Taj for him. That's big. If I draw the J, I'll still be able to get rid of it, and then I can dump the I here to go out. Curated has to be better than anything else I'm going to find. I'm going to play curated. Don't draw the J. I've got it here as an out. I'm going to win the game. Cool. All right, go was a weird play. It was a weird position, and I'm glad what I did worked out for me. But um, I, I would love to hear what you guys have to say on the turn because maybe maybe I'm getting paranoid about the jot possibility. Maybe I'm not. You know, I, I love hearing about positions I don't know how to address because that's how we all learn looking at weird positions and trying to draw conclusions about them. Here's another cool out for me, but, um, what a weird game. Yeah, four bingos to one, but again, my bingo is so, so big that it doesn't matter. I wish I had played Go, you know, maybe hoping to draw curated or something, but I, you know, I'm not that smart. Well, that was fun. That was that's one of the more fun games I've played. I think that might be my favorite uh, YouTube game thus far. So thanks for the game, Chris. Thanks for making it close. Uh, let me know what you guys have to say. Uh, if message me whatever you want on YouTube. I'm I'm open to requests or you know, Matt, you could be doing this better. Anyway, let me know.
Good game. Thanks, Chris. And thanks for watching, guys. Later.